What is up, first fans? Guess what? Are you ready? It is time to flex right after this. Hello. If you think about how great Travis Kelsey is, you will most definitely want to be one of only 1,000 first fans to receive this beautiful collector card for free. They are individually numbered, and all you have to do is like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to the Fantasy Football First channel. It's all in the description below. Now go enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> all, right. all right, welcome back. It's time to flex, Devin. These Ooh. are our flex plays of the week. Yep. These are players that are on the fence most weeks of whether you should play them or not play them. Or even drop them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, in case you are in need, we've still got some buys going on, injuries still going on, and uh, especially teams that are in 12 team leagues or uh, a lot of roster leagues. Mm -hmm. These are players that you're going to have to make the decision on. You might own them on your team, they might be on waivers. So, these are some options to flex play if you need a flex. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My first flex play for you is going to be Dearness Johnson. Mm. The COVID bug has struck. Cleveland running backs are out this week. Yeah. Right now, he's the only one available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he could also end up testing positive for COVID. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, it's kind of a weird thing. <laughs> but uh, I know Chubb has already been ruled out. Kareem Hunt is on injury reserve. And... Dearness Johnson. Dearness Johnson is who we're talking about. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Dimitri Felton. Dimitri Felton. Sorry. <laughs> he's also a COVID. So... Anyway, I think he's the only active at this time of filming, and he had a pretty good game against Denver a few weeks back. He was, once again, the guy. He mm -hmm. had 22 rushes, 146 yards, and a touchdown. Yeah. Uh, two catches for 22 yards, and this week he's got the New England Patriots in a pretty neutral run game matchup, mm -hmm. and Cleveland is a good offensive line. They want to run. He's going to get the ball. If he is on waivers in your league somehow, Yeah which he definitely could be because I know in a couple leagues I'm in, he was already dropped, and then this week he's been just picked back up. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to be the guy. So look for him to see if he's out there still. Yeah, another good thing about that is against it's New England, so mm -hmm. they're not going to have to play catch-up. I, right, I don't think New right. England's going to get more than two, three touchdowns. Although you never know, didn't they have a 50-burger just a few weeks back? <laughs> 50 points from the New England Patriots? What is that? Okay, but that was against the really, <laughs> Yeah, that's Likely not that's not going to happen. No. <laughs> it should be probably l lower scoring back and forth, like you said. And yeah. And uh, Yeah, that should be good for Johnson. A lot of running. Yep. Yep. So go get him as one of your flex. Who do you got, Tim? I have Donovan Peoples-Jones. Again, oh, another Cleveland player. Yeah. But I actually picked him up in one of my leagues. Yep. I'm actually very happy about this guy. He, in my opinion, is going to be the Odell Beckham replacement. Mm -hmm. They were already targeting him a little bit. Yep. And now that Odell Beckham's gone, I can see him shifting into that role. Mm -hmm. And don't be disencouraged by picking him up just because of last week. He only got three targets. Yeah, but he's actually catching the ball when it gets thrown his way. So that that's too. Nice. <laughs> well, I, I want to add on to that. So Baker only threw the ball 21 times, yeah. which is very, very low, especially even for Baker, mm -hmm. even for a run-heavy offense. 21 times is not a lot at mm -hmm. all. So I can see Baker throwing more often, mm -hmm. which means more targets. I can see Donovan Peoples-Jones shifting into that position, which means even more targets. Yeah. I think this week is going to at least, at least get six targets this game. I see him as kind of a big play guy. So mm -hmm. if you've got a lot of safer players in your lineup and you need kind of a big play, hopefully a lot of points, I would do this kind of a play because mm -hmm. even though he's catching two or three or four balls, it seems like one is going for that long mm -hmm. touchdown. Yeah. So if you need that long scoring touchdown, do that. And if not, then, you know, and you need a floor play, I wouldn't recommend it because he might get you three or four or he might get you 21. Yeah. I mean, I just think that uh, he's uh, he's got that burst potential. Yeah, and also, I don't think the main cornerback on New England, mm. which is J.C. Jackson, very good. Mm. I don't think he's going to be covering him. I think he's going to be covering Landry. Mm. So I can see him getting the secondary cornerback. All right. So that leaves him open. All right, that's our second one. We've got five plus a bonus for you. Mm -hmm. Our third one is Devin Singletary. Mm-hmm which normally you wouldn't think of as a good play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but 
Uh, Moss is out right now. Mm -hmm. As long as he is out, I think Devin Singletary is going to be a great play for you. They are playing the New York Jets, yeah. which is the last ranked run defense in the league. <laughs> Everybody and their mom and their dad and their sister and their brother is running on the New York Jets. Touchdowns for everybody. So I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked if he gets you 60, 70 yards and a touchdown. Yeah pretty easily yeah on top of that the Jets have actually been playing really really good the past couple weeks yeah so I can see them scoring some touchdowns this game and if that's the case yeah the Bills are gonna have to score touchdowns to keep up yeah or not really keep up but uh stay on top yeah (laughs) and and it could be too you never know I mean the Bills have not looked good the last few weeks this could be a big wake-up game and this also could be one of those games where they just put 40 on them Mm-hmm. And just mm-hmm. completely obliterate the Jets. Yes, yes. And especially if it gets to that in the third quarter and fourth quarter, they're probably going to be running the ball a lot if that's the you know the scheme and they are up like that. Yeah. I can see them just running the ball to close it out. And since the Jets can't stop anybody, like I said, Devin Singletary, I could easily see a touchdown, maybe two out of weirdness. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Devin I Singletary. can definitely see that. Okay, number four. My second guy, number four player, is Flex. going to be Brandon Ayuk. Okay, he has not many been, people are playing him. Yeah, he's been less getting than twenty five percent of leagues are starting him. Right back now. on track. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. I am playing Brandon Ayuk this week. Okay, he's get he's averaging between seven and eight reception, uh, seven seven and eight targets, targets a game. Yeah. Sorry, the past two weeks he's starting to get more involved. He's starting to become that Brandon Ayuk that we drafted. Yeah. So, Finally, yeah, I'm really excited for him, especially against the Rams. There's a positive and negative about this. The Rams are going to score, which is going to cause the San Francisco 49ers to pass the ball yep. to try to keep up. But the negative about this is they got Von Miller. Mm-hmm. So is that going to ignite the Rams' defense and shut down San Francisco? Mm. I think it's going to be either or. Either Brandon Ayuk explodes. Or he goes back to what he's been doing the rest of the season and does nothing. Mm-hmm. I think it's a high risk, high reward. And once again, a good flex play. Yes, yes. You know? Very good, very good. All right, I like that. Brandon Ayuk for you guys. Mm-hmm. My last guy is also wide receiver, number five. Okay. And it's Russell Gage. The beginning of the year, we were both on Russell Gage. He got injured. Stuff happened. Blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> well, it looks like he's finally healthy and he's getting involved in in this Atlanta offense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, They're playing the Dallas Cowboys, who are not the greatest against the pass. Mm -hmm. And I think this is gonna be a high scoring game. Okay, I can see that. I can see it being a shootout going back and forth. And Russell Gage has been targeted a lot lately. And I think he should get a lot of targets in this game. Hopefully he'll catch some for you and maybe even score that touchdown. It feels like a rotation. A couple weeks back, it was Tajay Sharp, Mm-hmm. This last week it was Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. And I think this week is going to be Russell Gage for the touchdowns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. touchdown, yeah. you know. So. Okay, I like that. All right, Russell Gage is a flex play if you uh, need it. And then we both have been talking this evening, and we got one bonus for you. Yes, we do. Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram, guess who's out this week? Alva Kamara. Gone. He's already been ruled out, <laughs> yep. which means Mark Ingram will be the full time back. And he hasn't looked bad. He I mean, hasn't. The guy's looked, been a little rejuvenated. Some good plays. Yep. Yeah, I mean, for his age, especially because he's really old. But he's actually been making some good plays. The first week that he was on the Saints, they showed him, and he broke a couple tackles. Yeah. He looked pretty good. So, do I think he's going to be that next level player and get thirty points? No, no, I don't think so. I think he's got a floor of about. 10 to 15. Yeah, I think 60, 70, 80 yards and a touchdown is a yeah. is a reasonable expectation. Yes, yes. Yep, so, I agree. Okay, so if you need a running back, which a lot of us do, mm-hmm. or especially off and Kamara owners, pick up Mark Ingram. You better do it quick, though, because these guys are flying, coming off the boards. Coming off I don't here. even own Alec Kamara, and I picked up Mark yeah. Ingram. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's that's the way it is this year with running yeah. backs. I mean, it's slim pickings, and nobody's really taking charge in this uh, mm-hmm. running back weirdness. So, what do you guys think? Do you have any flex plays for us or for anybody else in the comments down below? Put them in the comments, your flex play, or if you like one of our flex plays, you can put it towards getting your Travis Kelsey collector card. We will ship it out free of charge. All you have to do is... Like, comment, and subscribe. See how easy that is? You can join our team here at Fantasy Football First. And 
With all of that being said, <laughs> we appreciate you watching. Always remember to finish, finish first. Thank you for listening to the FantasyFootballFirst.com podcast. Jackson throws a clean Crabtree has it for a touchdown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Get more fantasy info and check us out at FantasyFootballFirst.com.